Don't you hate it when you put your vacation all season long and then you pull up to this? Well, stay tuned because we're bringing you the top 10. Let's go check it out. Last year, we brought you the worst ranked motels in Myrtle Beach. And this year, we're back on the boulevard to show you an updated list for 2022. Remember, there are thousands of places around here. Some are great and others are just plain awful. And this countdown is from the top rated dot online and based strictly off of reviews from vacationers just like you who visit the beach. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel for updates and reviews of places at the beach. So without further ado, let's count them down. Coming in at number 10, formerly known as the Night's Inn, was the Aventure. The Night's Inn has recently changed to Aventura and is located at 2711 South Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach. It has only 108 reviews, but of those reviews, they give this one an average of 2.6 out of 5.0 stars. One reviewer recently wrote, would literally give this place negative stars if possible. This place was a train wreck of a hotel room. The only good thing about this room is the one light bulb they give you to see. So maybe they've changed your name and the image for the better. But if you're planning on staying here at the Knights Inn slash Aventura, that's ranked number 10 out of the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. Coming in at number nine is the Days Inn by Wyndham on the Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach. The Days Inn Wyndham Grand Strand is located at 806 South Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach. It has 705 reviews. And of those reviews, they give this one an average of 2.6 out of 5. One reviewer recently wrote, The only good thing about this hotel is the proximity to the beach. And the young lady that checked us in was pleasant. Other than that, I would say stay somewhere else. The elevator wasn't working properly, the room was half clean, and the shower had a leak. So if you're planning on staying at the Days Inn Wyndham Grand Strand that ranked number 9 on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. And coming in at number 8, formerly known as the Econo Lodge, is the Ocean Crest Inn and Suites. The Okano Lodge, now the Ocean Crest, is located at 601 South Ocean Boulevard in Myrtle Beach. It has 728 reviews. And of those reviews, they give this one an average of 2.6 out of 5 stars. One reviewer wrote, the view of the ocean from the room and the balcony as well as the pool were the only things that made it worth what we paid. Other than the lady with the blue hair, the staff were extremely rude. And the room was terrible. It was dirty, ran down, and the Wi-Fi was terrible. So if you're planning on staying at the Econo Lodge slash Ocean Crest that ranked number 8 on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. And coming in at number seven, right on the ocean is the Bar Harbor. $59 a night. The Bar Harbor, which appears to be almost classified as a hotel, is located at 100 South Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach. And just looking at it, it looks pretty good, but it has 1,678 reviews, 
And of those reviews, they give this one an average of 2.6 out of five stars. One reviewer recently wrote, I'd rate this place a zero if possible. Very little parking available. The elevator only went up and would not go down. The room was musty, had holes in the walls, floors, and ceilings. A big dead roach on the bathroom floor and lights with wires hanging out of them. So if you're planning on staying at the Bar Harbor that ranked number seven on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. And coming in at number six is the White Sands Motel. At least it's beside Subway. White Sands is located at 708 North Kings Highway, Myrtle Beach. It has only 62 reviews. However, of those reviews, they give this one an average of 2.5 out of 5 stars. One reviewer recently wrote, This hotel was the worst hotel I've ever stayed in. No Wi-Fi, tub and bathroom floor was nasty. The refrigerator was not working, cable only had two stations, and drug infested. So if you're planning on staying at the White Sands that ranked number 6 on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. And coming in at number five is the Days Inn by Wyndham, Myrtle Beach, Oceanfront. Not to be confused with the Days Inn by Wyndham Grand Strand that was mentioned at number nine on this list, the Days Inn Wyndham Beachfront is located at 1403 South Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach. It has 647 reviews. And of those reviews, they give this one an average of 2.5 out of 5.0 stars. One reviewer recently wrote, This place deserves one star. Roaches all over the room. My youngest son stepped on one. Horrible service, never staying again. I strongly recommend against it, and the entire place is disgusting. So, if you're planning on staying at the Days Inn by Wyndham Beachfront that ranked number five on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. Coming in at number four is the Blue Atlantic Hotel and Suites. The Blue Atlantic is located at 1203 South Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach. It has a whopping 1,011 reviews, and they give this one an average of 2.7 out of 5 stars. However, this past Easter, one reviewer recently wrote, This hotel is not suitable for families. The room smelled like rotten food. The bathroom tub had a dirt ring all around it. And on night number two, as we were getting ready for bed, I saw roaches on the sink. So if you're planning on staying at the Blue Atlantic Oceanfront Hotel that ranked number four on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. And coming in at number three, formerly known as the Atlantic Hotel North, is now Ocean 5 Hotel. Located at 411 North Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach. It has 151 reviews, and of those reviews, they give this an average of 2.3 out of 5.0. One reviewer recently wrote, Never felt so uncomfortable. Stains on top of the toilet lid. Sink wasn't clean. Horrible bedding. The room had a smell we couldn't get rid of. This was for a quick rest, but next time I'll sleep in my car. So if you're planning on staying at number three on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. And coming in at number two is the Polynesian. This was on our list last year. The Polynesian is located at 1001 South Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach. It has 2,963 reviews. And of those reviews, 
they give this one an average of 2.3 out of 5.0 stars. One reviewer recently wrote, this place does not even warrant one star. Never mind the fact that the rooms are seriously outdated. They are poorly kept, dirty, and certainly not up to code. There were roaches in our room. Food crumbs as if no one bothered to even clean it up. So if you're planning on staying at the Polynesian that ranked number two on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. And coming in at number one, folks, take notes, because it's a happy holiday. There ain't nothing happy about this place. The Happy Holiday is located at 507 North Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach. It has 496 reviews, and of those reviews, they give this an average of 2.2 .2 out of 5.0 stars. One reviewer recently wrote, there's not one good thing to say about this disaster. The front desk smelled like marijuana and there's blood stains at the size of a body on the bed. The rooms haven't been painted or cleaned probably since the place was built. The blankets were stained and the furniture is falling apart. So if you're planning on staying at the Happy Holidays that's ranked number one on the top 10 worst, you may want to read the reviews. Well, there they are, the top 10 worst ranked motels in Myrtle Beach for 2022, not by us, but by toprank.online. Hope you found this video helpful when planning your next vacation. Just remember, read the reviews and the comments from past guests so you'll know what to expect when you get here. Until next time, keep beaching.